She was once the golden girl of New South Wales politics, universally respected as she steered the state through bushfires, floods and COVID. But yesterday, ICAC found former Premier Gladys Berejiklian engaged in serious corrupt conduct. Despite the findings, though, the state's anti-corruption commission says she won't be criminally charged. Joining us live now, New South Wales Shadow Health Minister Matt Keane. Matt, good to see you. Thanks for your time this morning. So another night to reflect on the ICAC ruling. Is Gladys Berejiklian corrupt? Well, I, like the rest of New South Wales, are still scratching my head, uh, I'm trying to understand exactly what this finding means. I mean, they've said she's so corrupt, but not corrupt enough to be referred to the DPP for criminal charges. So which one is it? This is the first ICAC inquiry that I've known of where someone has been referred off, uh, charged with corruption, but not referred off to the DPP for criminal charges. It's highly unusual, but it's not the only unusual thing about this ICAC inquiry. What we saw was delay after delay after delay. Yeah. What we saw was the leaking of supposedly private hearings onto the public website. Uh, what we saw was a media release to announce the report date, as if they were announcing a Taylor Swift concert. And then yesterday we saw the unbecoming performance by two ICAC apparatchiks lining up cameras as they walked into Parliament to hand over the report as if it was some kind of soap opera. Well, Pete, let me tell you, integrity probes are not a soap opera and yesterday shouldn't have been the circus which ICAC turned it into. It needs to be looked at because the public need to have confidence in the process of our integrity Sure. Problems. No, I see your point, uh, but back on the point of corruption though, do you take issue with her being found to be corrupt? Look, I'm not a lawyer, but this report uh, clearly says that she's not corrupt enough to refer it off to the DPP for criminal charges. So which one is it? Yeah. Every other ICAC probe in the state has referred the person they've named as corrupt off to the DPP to face criminal charges, whether it be Eddie O'Bead, Ian MacDonald, uh, or now Daryl Maguire. But apparently Gladys Berejiklian is so corrupt that she's not able to be prosecuted in a court of law. So it just is very confusing for everyone out there. Sure. Um, what we do know, though, is that the process which allowed this investigation to go on for two years and spend millions of taxpayer money has basically told us Gladys Berejiklian did not break the law. She didn't gain anything financially uh, from her relationship with Daryl. And basically, she was dating a weirdo. Yeah, no, I see your point, and, uh, and, and a lot of it does make sense, Matt. There, there is... Something I want to show you, though, this is back in 2018. This is what Gladys Berejiklian said in Parliament, and I've got a question out the back of it, so let's just play this. You do not require a motion from this place or the other place to refer a matter exactly. to ICAC. If he or anybody else, if he or anybody else has any issues of concern, I urge them, urge them to take it to... Madam Speaker, I refer my call to every single member of this place. If you see or hear anything which require, which is of concern, which you feel ICAC should investigate, refer it on the spot. Don't wait three or four weeks. Yeah, see, that's the problem there, Matt. Refer on the spot if you see or hear anything. And she didn't do that. Therefore, she broke the rules. Well, Pete, let's be very clear here. Gladys Berejiklian, in the stand by her own testimony, said that she suspected uh, that there was uh, nothing going on. So, therefore, she didn't believe there was any reason to refer it to ICAC. Now, I mean, the ICAC has said that they've drawn an inference from some of the phone taps. Uh, they've drawn an inference, uh, for example, that she was trying to advance her relationship with Daryl Maguire as the reason for her giving these grants. Well, I tell you what, Gladys Berejiklian was a successful professional woman. She didn't need to give a grant uh, to advance a relationship with a man. I mean, that's just disgraceful stuff.